If you need a table so that you can work on your couch, check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this side table. It's for doing work or being lazy, eating a meal, reading a book, drinking a cup of coffee while sitting down on your couch. And I love these tables because they actually make your couch so much more useful. Now for years you can get little TV tables so that you can sit down on your favorite chair or on your couch and eat. But recently I have realized that they have started to make the tables look a lot more fashionable, a lot higher quality, and actually something that you actually might want to even show off. So what I picked up here is a bamboo side table with a C leg so that it will pull into the couch as efficiently as possible. I've actually had some with the Z leg and those will only go into the couch so much and so they kind of sit a little further out. But these you can pull them right in. We also have a little box of the screws and also a little metal support arm in there. And that's important because this is not just a side table, but it's also a lifting angle desk. So if you are sitting here and using your laptop and you want it angled up at a little bit better position for typing or writing, you can do that with this. Now, what you can see here is that C leg that I was just talking about. And not C legs like, ahoy matey, there you have your C legs. This is just a C-shaped leg. There's a crossbar in here. You can see that it's got a really nice looking natural bamboo finish. I will tell you that it's very high quality and is a little brighter and airier than some of the really dark ones. So here is the top of the table and we also have this removable stop right here that you would put into the table top so that when it's angled up, it will stop your laptop from sliding off. Now this is something that might get in the way of your wrists or be uncomfortable if you're just trying to put your drink on or eat a meal off of it. So that's why it has these little dowels in there so you can just pull it off and put it on when you need it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top table here and this is the lower brace where it's going to pivot. And so we have this little mount here where the this little metal bracket's gonna go onto. So you're gonna open it up on the skinny end here and just open it up so that the bars will go into the holes on either side. This is gonna be the little kickstand that's going to allow you to adjust the angle of the top. So that is done. Now you take this little plastic bag here because this has the little hook that's going to go into the little piece up here. And this is going to allow you to kind of hook this down so that when it's down and flush and flat, it won't move and then you can release it so you don't have to worry about the top flopping around when you're moving it or if it gets knocked or something like that. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take this and you are going to put it there and you are going to screw it in with one of those two screws that it comes with. And it just takes a little Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a power tool, that'll probably be really nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, you don't wanna tighten this down too much, but you do want some pressure on it because it's going to have to move, but you don't want it flopping around. As you can see, I have the little tooth pointed up right now, and that's the way it is supposed to be. All right, step two, we're going to assemble the bottom. And probably what's easiest here is to follow the directions literally. And what we have here are the C legs. Now, what you will notice here is that the crossbar, which will go in here, there is one side where it is just the hole to pass the screw, and the other side is enlarged so that you can countersink the screw into it. So this is gonna be the outside pieces here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this outside piece, and I'm going to take the cross beam and the crossbar right here, and then I'm gonna take two of these long wood screws that they include here and drop them into the holes and line them up with the receiving holes on the crossbar. Now, these screws right here are not Phillips head, unfortunately, I wish they were. So you need to use the included Allen key to tighten them down, which is going to be a nice, slow way of doing it. Now, I don't tighten those all the way down. What I usually will do is I will assemble the other side of the legs just to make sure that they are matched up before I really tighten it down because sometimes they can just be a little off kilter. Okay, now that we have the two legs attached, even though I don't have that cross member tightened down too much, now we take this piece, which is gonna hold the top. You can see the little slots in here, and that's gonna be where the kickstand goes when you raise the desktop up and angle it in. What you are going to want to do here, make sure that you are biased the slots towards the back of the table. So right now I have it facing me, right? And so I want the slots here to be in the back. And so what I will do is I'll just line it up with these two holes here and then use some more of these wood screws to tighten that sucker in. 
All right, now that we have that attached here, now the last piece that we are going to install is the top. Now, this part right here, like I said, is where it's going to pivot. And so we are going to attach it right here at the end. There are some holes right there on the end, and that is going to be your fulcrum, your pivot point. So what I will do here is I'll line this up. Now, there are two of these metal screws, hex heads on those as well, so it's a little bit different than those wood screws. So I'm just gonna drop those in because these are meant to be tightened down but not so tight that they make the top immovable. This is where they are actually supposed to move and rotate. So I'm gonna tighten these down, but not over tighten them. Okay, now that I've gotten everything tightened down generally, what you wanna do now is go back through everything. For everything that's a permanent immovable screw, you wanna go ahead and tighten everything back down. Now I've got the whole thing put together and you can see that on the top panel here, on the top of the tabletop and the desktop here, we have the two little holes and those will receive this little stop here. So I can just put this in, this piece right there. And now when I lift up this top, as you can see, it's going to stop the laptop from sliding off. Also on the back here, you can see how I can move this kickstand up and set it so that I can get different angles depending on how high or how low I want this angle. And if I want it flat, just flip it up all the way and put it down. And now this little hook, I can go ahead and slide it all the way around. So now this top won't fall open. So if I'm using it just as a regular tabletop, it's not gonna slide off. Now, and if you're using it as a regular tabletop and you don't need this little stop, you can just pull it off. And actually, if you flip it around, you can actually install it on the same holes on the underside so that you will have it when you need it next time. So that's really clever. So here's the final table in bamboo. I think it looks pretty nice. It certainly looks like a nice piece of hardware as opposed to some of those cheaper plastic tables. Now, this one, like I said, because of these sea legs will push all the way in. So look at that. Let's say you are eating or you are working on your computer, maybe doing a little paperwork on the couch. You can pull it all the way in so it's like a regular desk. Let's say you're sitting over here. You can use it like a little side table, put your drinks up there. Now, if you really want to do some work and you're hardcore about it, you can just go under here and what you want to do just pull the little latch back. So now you can lift up this piece and then you can set the angle of the desk with this little bar, just like that. And now it is angled up just like a regular desktop. And then you can put in that little stop right here so that you don't have things sliding off. Kind of reminds me of an old schoolhouse desk, but this is really, really useful. Not only to keep it productive when you're on your couch, maybe watching your favorite movie, catching up on the news or TV, but it's also really useful for eating a meal, going through your mail, doing a little paperwork or just having a drink right next to you so that you don't have to reach over to the table and pick it up. If you wanna pick up this desk, I'm really impressed with it and it's really affordable. So if you wanna pick up this desk, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. If you need a table so that you can work at your couch, ah, now this is something that might get in the way of your wrists or they are hex heads. And so you need to use the included Allen key here to 